Welcome, welcome, welcome to today's episode of GCK Daily. There is one distinguishing characteristic of us as human beings, and that is the ability that God has given us to ask logical questions at every given point in time with the expectation to receive a relieving answer that promises to pull us out of our predicament. This is what distinguishes the Bible from all other books. You cannot be a diligent student of the Bible and still claim that you've never found the answers to the challenges that plague you in there. In today's episode, Dr. Kumi will be examining a prominent figure in the Bible and how he acknowledged his need for a crucial question in his life to be solved and how he received the answer to his petition. We need to understand why do we have war in our lives? Why do I have to say war? It's me. I'm suffering. I go out, I'm suffering. I stay inside, I'm suffering. I look up, I'm suffering. I pray, I'm suffering. And I'm trying to quote the Bible to kind of build up myself. I'm still suffering. Why? Why do I say? Why do you say? Why do we say that we are having woeful situation on our hands in our families in our places of work woe is me for i am undone because 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 i am a man of unclean leaves and then i go around maybe somebody has solution because look at me look at my situation i'm down down and down and going down and down all the time let me search among my neighbors let me search among our church people let me search among our religious people whether somebody has discovered the way out of war and then he says i look here I look there I look everywhere he says i dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips their problem is my problem my problem is their problem i suffer they suffer i'm sorry they are sorrowful and it's because we're all of unclean lips, unclean language, unclean heart, unclean thoughts, unclean action, unclean character, unclean habit, unclean life. All of us were in the same sinking boat and then it says for my eyes have seen the king and I want is holy 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 is God the Lord of hosts I like to go there I'd like to be with him the Lord eternity and as the angels came and I saw that revelation of the holiness of God the whiteness of God the glory of God the wonder of God it's like I should join them I cannot join them because we who is me because I am undone and I am a man of unclean leaves and I dwell in the midst of, an, of the people of unclean leaves what I see the glory I see and the power I sense and everything available that I will join the hosts of heaven I can not because of the uncleanness in my life but is there any way is there anything that can be done so that the woe and the woefulness and the suffering and the sickness and the disease that everything will be wiped away out, out of my life yes tonight transformation will come the change will come. I want to go to heaven. I want to be with the Lord when he comes. I want to be able to sing the song of the righteous in glory. And with unclean lips, and with unclean life, with unclean language, with unclean heart, and unclean action, and unclean lifestyle, I cannot. But God will reverse the situation in your life. Every good thing we have lost because we are undone, the Lord will bring back to your life. Everything that we have suffered because we are undone and because of our leaves, unclean heart, unclean life, unclean, the Lord will restore good things into your life. Let somebody shout, Amen! It will happen to us in Jesus' name. Hello, friends. This is Paul Balash, and you're watching GCK Daily with Dr. Kumuyi. 
So we've seen today that God is more willing to come to our rescue, provided we acknowledge our own uncleanliness without trying to paint a good picture of ourselves before him. He is always willing to deposit a measure of his holiness in us so that we can experience what it means to live a holy life here on earth by his grace. So daily we plug into this characteristic of God through prayer and you will find yourself living the life he wants you to live. God bless you as you do so. We're going to pray now. Please, if you're not sure of your salvation, rise up now so this prayer will be for you as well. Turn away from sin, repent of sin. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ when you are repented and then salvation will come to you let's pray together father in the mighty name of jesus our lord and savior all these who have indicated that they accept they receive they believe on christ to be their lord and savior save them in jesus name all the guilt of sin take away from them break the power of sin from their lives in jesus name remove take away the punishment of all the sins they have committed in the past set them free give them life eternal help them lord to have the witness of the spirit of god they are now children of god and keep them and hold them or pull them by your mighty hand so that they will not fall back into their vomit into their old life anymore in jesus name confirm that salvation with the joy of your presence in their hearts thank you lord for the answer in jesus name we pray amen i am saved say that aloud i am saved the lord confirm it for you in jesus name and that healing is available now are you ready Let's pray now, Father, in Jesus' name. Oh, no, Lord, you cannot fail. And your power will never fail. And your touch will never fail. And Lord, anywhere, everywhere, everyone is before you now, looking up to you. And you have said, look unto me. And be ye healed. And be ye saved. Have you delivered all the ends of the earth? We pray now, anywhere, everywhere people are, here at the Alpha location and there online, everywhere, touch them, transform them, heal them in Jesus' name. All those places they are laying their hands now, I pray that your power will flow through. Your healing will flow through. Your deliverance will flow through. Heal your people, everyone, everywhere, in Jesus' name. The pain in your body, I command that pain vanish away in Jesus' name. The bleeding, the suffering, the cancer, the ulcer, the tuberculosis, the HIV AIDS, and every sin to mention anyone there at this very moment I speak the word of authority against that thing. Be healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. That recurrent problem, that incurable disease, that thing you've gone here and there and there, and yet all those things remain, I pray nothing will stand between you and your healing no no hindrance to your healing tonight and therefore lord the god of all flesh i pray that you look at all your people heal them tonight in jesus name blind eyes deep eyes be opened in jesus name deaf ears and dumb tongues be loosed in jesus name 
aching joints, arthritis, be released and healed in Jesus' name. Breathing problem, asthma, be healed in Jesus' name. Swelling in any part of your body. I pray that the hand of the Lord will touch your hand now and go through all that swelling. Be removed in Jesus' name. And all the prayers you have prayed, wanting healing, wanting deliverance, wanting total freedom, the Lord confirm it right now. The Lord confirm your healing. The Lord confirm your deliverance. The Lord confirm your miracle. And the Lord confirm wonders upon your life here, right, left, front, center, at the back, online, in every country, every congregation power manifestation now in jesus name we pray that final amen has brought your miracle to become reality it is done it is done Check up yourself now, your miracle is there. You must not, uh, you know, run away. Remember, Elijah told the servant, go and see, keep, I saw nothing. Stay there and check up. And then go again, I saw nothing. Go there, check up. Check up, don't, uh, you know, run away. You're in a hurry for anything. That's what you came for. You came for having your miracle. That miracle is there you will see it amen beneath my shame who could carry that kind of weight it was my tomb till i met you thank you jesus I was breathing but not alive Oh, all my failures I tried to hide It was my turn Oh, till I met you, Jesus You called my Thank you for joining us for another episode of GCK Daily, Global Crusade with Queen. We are sure that this episode has been a great reminder of God's readiness to intervene in the matters of your soul and life. So please check us out at gckhq.org and connect with us via our social media handles. Please also like and subscribe and share these videos. We look forward to seeing you at the next episode of GCK Daily. And we'd love for you to join us at their next global crusade. Thank you.